Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so excited because I got more beauty products because obviously I need more beauty products. Um, so I've got a haul for you today from Sephora, Sally Beauty, and Jean Coutu, which is just a drugstore here in Canada. Um, so let's get to it. Um, so first of all, the main thing that I wanted, it was like a 15% off sale for uh, VIB um, Rouge members. So me and my sister had a few things that we really wanted to get, so we took the opportunity to get that. So everything was 15% off, so it was super cheap, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I got was this Lancome Genifique. I've been wanting to get the Genifique uh, skincare line for a long time, but it was a little pricey. But with 15% off, it's a little more affordable. So inside the box is this Genifique Light Pearl uh, Youth Activating Concentrate Eye Illuminator. So it's like a serum for your eyes. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, just because I've tried the Genifique in the form of a serum for my face, which um, if you want to know more about that, then you can check my link down below for my serum review. Um, yeah, and I really, really, really liked it. I just found that it worked really super well. Like, like I put it on and then like it was almost like my face was just pulled back and like taut. Um, which was like super cool and I was really excited about it and really wanted to get the full size. Um, so then I got this uh, Youth Activating Concentrate. This is a serum for your face. Um, uh, this is the one that I'm super excited about. I've wanted it forever so I'm glad that I finally got it. Yay! I'm so excited. As part of the Lancome skin line, I got um, this Lancome eye cream. So you get a fair amount of product for your buck. I mean, like, I had this super tiny eye cream before and it lasted me like three months, so this should last me a good long time. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just a huge fan of the Lancome skincare line um, ever since I tried that sample. So I'm excited to try this as well. Um, I do have another eye cream that I need to get rid of first, so uh, yeah, just waiting to get rid of that, I guess. Because uh, they can't go too crazy, right? Next, I got this Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover. If you can see right in there, there's just like a sponge where you sort of stick your finger into it and you twist it. And then when it comes off, um, it's all your nail polish is supposed to come off. There's one formulated for glitter as well. I don't wear a glitter nail polish on my fingernails that often, but I just thought that I'd get this because I saw on a YouTube video that it's like one of the best kept secrets at Sephora. Like no one really knows about it, but that it's like a super good product. And um, I, at work, I do like French manicures, but I find they start chipping after like uh, a couple days or so and so I've been kind of lazy at like taking it off and then like putting on new French manicures but like since um, I'll have this then hopefully I'll be a little less lazy and and I'll do my French manicures a little more often. Next I just got a, rep a replacement brush head for my Clarisonic. It came in a two pack but it was 15% off so I just figured I'd do it anyway. Um, I'll probably have a review of my Clarisonic after a few weeks of using it, I just really want to know my feelings on it before I let anyone know um, what they are exactly. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It should come out soon. I have the Smart Profile, which is like this sort of like smart one that um, it does like a special timer for your face, so it sort of recognizes the more delicate areas and um, sort of adjusts it according to that. Then at Sephora, I also got a few samples, which I love samples. This is like half the reason why I order online. I mean, VIB Rouge shipping is free, so I just order whatever I want to order online, and then I get some samples with it, so I get some stuff to try out, which is super fun. Um, first of all, I got this fragrance bundle. So there's three fragrances to try out. I'm not really one for fragrances really but um, uh, I'm kind of like looking for one now seeing if I can like change my mind because I mean it's been since high school since I've, I've said that about myself so so this is the Stella McCartney Stella scent and I really don't like it it smells kind of old lady -y. Ooh, really not into that so then this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana white and Nirvana black Nirvana White smells alright, um, I don't know, I still don't really like it, it's just... But Nirvana Black smells so good, oh my god, I love it. It's just like, like that smell that like, you know that your mom has that's kind of like fresh and makeup-y and like, like, I don't know, it just smells really comforting. Oh my god, I love that, it's so good, this is what the original package looks like. Oh wow, okay, they might have like converted me here. That was smells so good. Wow. 
Now this is the Chloe perfume. Don't like that. It smells old lady E. Not super into it. This is the Maison Martin Margelia Replica Beach Walk. It smells alright. It does smell beachy. I don't know if I'd wear it for every day, but like for a day at the beach, it'd be super good. Now this is Toka by Isabelle. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells like grapefruit or something. I probably still wouldn't wear it though. It kind of reminds me of like this pink stuff that like, like pink from like I think The Gap or something that I used to wear when I was a teenager and I just put it on everything and I just got super sick of it so I'd never want to smell it again. So I'm not super into grapefruit. And then this is the Marc Jacobs Daisy. I'm really interested to know what this is, what this smells like. Hmm, it smells really good. It kind of smells like pears. Um, but I'd say the clear winner is Nirvana Black by Elizabeth and James. That smells so, so good, you guys. Um, so anyway, I also I got this Clinique um, sample and it is foundation with concealer inside so I think the concealer is a little too dark for me maybe I'll use it as like a contouring shade or something um, but there's also a universal face primer on it with it so I'll probably do a first impressions on that because I'm on the lookout for a new primer next I got this Guerlain uh, Abeille Royale uh, face treatment oil firming lift and tone um, so I'm, I really love serums, they're like my favorite thing in the whole world, so when they were like, hey, do you want this sample, I was like, yes! So, super stoked about that, love me some serums. And next, I got this Lancome Bifacial, Bi Bifacial, Bifacil, I have no idea what that's called. But um, yeah, it's just an eye makeup remover and it's supposed to be really good. I have the full size. Um, I think it works good, but I'll probably still shop around because it's pretty pricey for the full size ones. But this just came as like one of those 100 point bonuses and I love having travel size stuff. So um, I thought that I'd take this. I got this Living Proof Style Lab Instant Texture Mist. So I'm all about texture in my hair. So I'm, I'm excited to see what this is like. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, you're supposed to use it on damp or dry hair, scrunch and tousle, and then air and blow dry for extra volume, so I'm all about my volume, so yeah, I'll try that out. Next, I'm so excited about this. I got this Dior Lash Plumping Serum. Um, so I have been wanting to get some sort of like lash plumper for the longest time. Um, this says it's an active pumping, pumping lash primer. So I guess you put it on before your mascara and stuff. I think I'm going to do like a full review on this, like like try it out and then once I'm done with the whole bottle then I'll just um, show you guys sort of what it looks like, um, see if, if they grow, if that's even what it's supposed to do. I'll have to look it up on the website. Um, but Lash Pumper sounds like it does that to me. So this is what it looks like. I got these Yves Saint Laurent uh, Touche Eclat. They're supposed to erase fatigue, highlight, plump lips, and brighten eyes. So they're highlighter, I think. There's supposed to be a bunch of brightening shades for every skin tone, and there's like three shades here. Um, so I'm excited to try those out because when I bought my highlighter, which is my MAC, MAC uh, self and Soft and Gentle, I can't talk. And um, I don't know, I just kind of bought it because I was like, I want a highlighter and I have no idea what I want, shop lady. And shop lady was like, have this. And I was like, okay. So I never really like shopped around or anything. So I've been wanting to like shop around for different highlighters. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I'll probably be using it in my next tutorial. So next is one from China. Um, I got this off of eBay. Basically it's um, just a bunch of, and this is the envelope it came in, a bunch of eyelash curler replacement pads. I have this cute little rhinestone eyelash curler. I love this eyelash curler. I just think it's so cute. I love blinged out things. So I was super excited about it, but the lash pad, um, like split after like two years of use or something, it was insane. So I don't know. I just really wanted to buy a replacement pad. I didn't want to like get, um, like a whole new eyelash color and I had a lot of trouble finding replacement pads. Um, I did find some at Sally Beauty but they didn't quite fit. Um, but these ones, they were like two dollars and there's like literally 20 in here and it's literally going to last me for freaking ever. It fits perfectly in my eyelash curler. They're all generally standard sizes so generally they will fit. Um, 
So I really like them. Um, I'll put the link to them down below in case you guys want to check them out. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was more eco-friendly too than like, you know, buying a bunch of uh, eyelash curlers and like throwing them out when the pad splits. I mean, it's just a little pad. It just needs to be replaced. So, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Then I went to Jean Coutu and I got these Biore pads. I think I'm going to do a first impression on these and I'm going to basically compare them to, like you can do this sort of like gelatin and milk um, pour uh, cleaner as well. It's like this mask that you put over your pores and it's supposed to act just as good as this. But I want to compare the two and see which one actually works better. Um, so that's what that's about. I'm going to have that probably probably in the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for that. Then, as Jean Coutu, I also got these goodie elastics, which if you're growing out a pixie cut like I am, then you definitely need them. I use them for this look. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the light, but there's, yeah, oh, there it is. That's pretty. Um, there's just, uh, like a French braid here and a French braid here, and it just, like, secures it with the elastic, so that really, I'm pretty excited about those. And then, um, I bought some false lashes at Sally Beauty. Um, the false lashes I'd been using were like natural lashes and I just found when I was filming they didn't really like show up as like oomph and amazing as like I wanted them to. So I tried these and I wanted to try Ardell because I've heard some really good things about them on YouTube. So I also got the Ardell uh, Clear Lash Adhesive and I'll probably be doing a first impressions on these probably next week. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. Yeah, that's all my stuff. Oh my god, so much stuff. I'm so excited. Ugh, I love getting samples from Sephora so much. It makes me so happy. I love their program. Um, so yeah, if you like this, please thumbs up, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Anything you do really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!